What's up, everyone? Eric with Ham Radio Concepts here, KJ4YZI. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that button right now before you go any farther. Head over to Facebook and like my page, facebook.com slash hamradioconcepts. Follow along, learn in this vast hobby we call amateur radio. And today we're talking about another digital mode in our quest to teach you on using other digital modes instead of what everybody has went to is FT8. There are better options out there. Today we're talking about Olivia. That sounds a little bit different, doesn't it? Let's get out of FT8 and get into something better. So if you're new to the digital modes, we're not talking D-Star, we're not talking DMR, we're not talking Fusion or anything of the sort. We're talking about various modes for keyboard to keyboard communication via HF airwaves from computer to computer. And there are many different modes and recently if you haven't seen my videos, I've done a couple videos on FT8 which is one of the various modes. Um, FT8 though is nothing like this, but it took off by storm and has taken over HF airwaves. So just checking out another HF digital form of communication from keyboard to keyboard communication like I am here with KD0WTO uh, on a waterfall that you can't even really see the signal yet it decodes in the poorest conditions. So let's take a look at Olivia. So I made the FT8 videos. People jumped on FT8. I tried FT8. I moved on from FT8. FT8 has turned into a zombie apocalypse on HF. And that's not just me saying it. Zombies. You're sitting there, you're not doing anything with the computer or with the radio. The computer's doing it for you, making the contact, just exchanging a call sign and a grid square. In fact, one person said FTA is the mode when he becomes a paraplegic, he can operate it with a stick in his mouth. Now, <laughs> That's pretty much true. I mean, there's nothing for you to do. And, you know, again, it has its purpose. But for those looking for something fun, that's not it. All right. Um, in fact, let me show you where I'm getting this information. So what I want to point out to you is I do post my videos other places besides YouTube. Now, QRZ.com is a pretty good site that has a lot of forums, a lot of swap, meet, a lot of news. And I post videos here on the front. And usually, if you look at this, I think my post right now has the most of anything on here. Okay, all these have 1,500, 2,000, 6,000. Look at my video. 14,000 views, 130 comments. That's busy, man. But I'd really like to see all that traffic on my YouTube video because, believe it or not, there are people that don't go to QRZ to watch videos or to learn stuff. Okay, and that's fine. But your comments on here, the good, the bad, the ugly, bash me, tell me I suck, uh, tell me how great the video is, or what you do with FT8 can benefit somebody that's watching on YouTube. You know, right here, a um, yeah, check box, uh, check in the flattened box in the wide graph window will prevent that from happening. Right there is a constructive comment. Um, other people on here, they, they comment here and people learn from it. Okay, so... If you can put your comments on the YouTube video, that will stay there forever. This video here is going to go in the the uh, you know list here of popular videos. It'll drop down to the bottom, disappear, and nobody sees your comment anymore. So on that rant, I'd love to see your comments and your action on the YouTube video because 14 pages on the QRZ video is a little bit hard to navigate through. With that being said, I'm using Digital Master 780 and Olivia is one of the modes that's compatible with the software. In fact, the software I've used from day one, it's got a lot of digital modes here. All right. There are options available such as FL Digi, Mix W, some other ones. 
So you don't have to use Digital Master, but I've used this always. I like it. I'm familiar with it. It comes with Ham Radio Deluxe, but I don't even have HRD running. Um, I'm just using this by itself, sound card interface into the comp uh, radio with Digital Vox. So the MFJ1204 USB sound card interface plugged into the radio, radio set for Digital Vox, and I don't have to use any rig control or cat control. And here's the best part, guys. Listen up. If you're already using PSK, RTTY, FT8, or JT65, you already have all the stuff you need to try this. I'm not telling you to go out and buy stuff to get on Olivia. It's there. You got the stuff. Get on it and try it. Use it. So just another digital form of communication that offers efficiency that is like FT8 with the robust uh, chat QSO mode like PSK. Now, if you're looking at this, there's many options for Olivia. Which one do you want? Well, I'm going to explain to you here. The difference is, okay, PSK 31 means 31 hertz wide. Okay, little sliver. What happens when you go to PSK 63? It's a wider sliver that operates faster. And then you go to PSK 125. Well, that's wider than that and even faster. Olivia is the same way. 16500 is a really common area or mode that people operate. 16 tones, 500 hertz wide. Now, if you're calling CQ, you're probably calling CQ on 16500. If the band will allow it and it's in good conditions, you can step up to something like 32,000. That will double your bandwidth, double your tones, and essentially double your speed with a little compromise on error correction. So Olivia does use error correction to dig deep and get that signal, which is 10 dB below the noise level. So your noise can be three times your signal and it'll still decode it with an algorithm of error correction. I never see anybody using 64 2000, but it's possible. I mean, look how wide that swath is. And if the conditions were right, you probably could use that and it would be a lot faster. Um, but generally, you're seeing them on 16500. And if that's barely making it, you can step down to 8250. 8250 is the lowest mode. And if that doesn't work, it's not going to work. But 8250 is very common also. With that being said, you don't even have to see it or hear it on the waterfall. You don't have to see it on the waterfall, hear it on your speakers in order to decode it. With this program or other programs, the Reed Solomon Signal Detection, the RSID. With that being active, you will see here, it'll pop up the RSID and tell me, hey, there's an Olivia 16500 at 1200 hertz. And, you know, I may not have even seen that or heard it, but if I clicked it, it would be there and it would decode. Now, what normally what people do is they look on, if I go down here to PSK, normally people go on here and they like this, oh, there's a signal. They click on it, and there it is. They make the contact. Here's another one. Okay, But what happens if it's so weak or it's not there? Maybe there is people there. Maybe it's there, and you got people on FT8 right next to you, and it's you know destroying it with QRM. Well, that's why they have a proposed frequency section, or frequencies, for Olivia, so that you can be on 20 meters at 14.046 or 14.074.65, 750 hertz on the waterfall. And you can be there and potentially hear someone calling CQ without even seeing them. And you can call CQ there if they don't see you. It'll pick up on their program, you know. So you can find Olivia all the way to two meters. You know, last night I was on uh, 40 meters and 80 meters making Olivia contacts. There was one on each, I think. So very not, really not uh, widely used right now. Hopefully this video sparks some interest. But I, I never use 80 meters until I got back into digital. Now 80 meters is, that's a hidden gem, just like 30 meters, man. 30 meters is great for digital modes. There's hardly anybody, uh, with the exception of FT8, taking the band over by storm. Um, no phone there, you know, uh, very quiet at night, propagation's great. So you can find Olivia 
on other bands. I bet Seventeen's been just slamming lately, slamming with phone and CW S nine plus thirty at my QTH at uh, in uh, Sebastian, Florida here. So you know, try it on Seventeen. Try it on Ten. Yes, Ten's open, guys. Don't look at the don't look at the charts. Every day I'm making contacts on 10 with my AV680 high gain vertical, five feet off the ground. So what I'm going to do is, without the rant, because people hate that, I'm going to get on here and I'm going to find an Olivia contact and make a contact and see just how far that contact was. And I'm using, right now, 15 watts is what I have set up. One thing that disturbs me big time is how people said they're using 500 watts on FT8. That mode wasn't designed for 500 watts. There's not enough room for you to run 500 watts. And if you're using 500 watts, you're shooting fish in a barrel. I, there's several comments on QRZ video that said, I don't care what the band conditions. If I want to use 500 watts to make the contact, that's what I'm going to use. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, don't use 500 watts in Olivia. Don't use more than 30. Olivia is a QRP mode, a weak signal mode. That's designed 5 watts, 10 watts, 15 watts, no more than 30. Because over 30, it's going to distort, and it's going to do you no good. So go ahead and try to run 500 watts on Olivia, because it's going to just mark up your signal, uh, distort it, and it's not going to look well. And, you know, give it, some con give it some challenge, you know. Get off the FT8 with 500 watts. That's disturbing. It's just not even fun. Uh, let's go ahead and make it, see if I can make a contact find someone here on the band. So I'm calling CQ, and you can see the speed that it's typing out. This is 8250. I'm at 750 hertz on 20 meters. And uh, somebody came back to me a minute ago, and they were gone, but we'll see, uh, see what happens. There he is again. See, there's the RSID. And you can hear it. Now you see it hasn't even popped up yet. It's still decoding it. Now, let's trans there it goes, right there. Now let's see if we can get a... There it comes. KJ4YZI. See, so, you now he's done transmitting it. It's still decoding it right now. This is... November 5, with, uh, Mike Whiskey Romeo. All right, we'll send back to him. So, uh, we'll see about how far he is. Again, I'm, uh, let's see, 15 watts right now. Now, RSID is great though. You know, when that pops up, it shows you where somebody's at. Let's see if I can hear anything. Yep, oh, there it is. And I got this a little bit narrow to try to cut back on the FT8 that's just above me. Uh, I got a little bit of filtering on. And it took about 30 seconds for it to start printing after it you know, been decoding for about 30 seconds. But it's a solid copy. Waterfall really isn't isn't even that lit up, you know. It could be stronger. Um, and that's about how fast it's printing out. Well, this is uh, showing me he's 1,487 kilometers. And somebody else started here with another either Contestia or a wider Olivia. And it's right halfway into this signal. And... It was still decoding most of this with them right here uh, being half in my signal and half over here. So, um, fourteen hundred kilometers. So 
So he's using FL Digi. Let's see if we can go up to 16500. So here we're on 16500 now. Some of it's missing here, but I'm still getting a contact or a copy on him. Barely see a signal, and yet the letters kept popping up. So, a little faster on the 500, right? And uh, a little less sensitive. So, it's there. A couple errors, but I can get what he's saying. Um, so, that's uh, 16500. Now, I'm guessing if I went up from that, it probably wouldn't decode. It is a magical mode. Yes, it is. It's related as a magical mode for digital on HF. Just the way it decodes below that noise. Look here, got some Olivia 8250 here. Good solid copy there. 6 dB signal and noise. Um, he's a thousand kilometers from me in Salem City, Virginia. Or Salem, Virginia. Got some down here. This might be Contestia here. This is Olivia here. There was some MFSK on here earlier. Uh, but I'm hoping after this video to see more people on Olivia. Check out Olivia. Try it. Remember, leave comments in the YouTube video. Let me know about your experience with Olivia. Your experience with the digital modes. Comment. Feel free. Let me know if you learned and if you tried and if you made a contact on Olivia. And I hope to see you out there soon. I like to play on uh, 80 and 40, Olivia. 20 is not the best of my antenna. Still working on that issue. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully you're out there one day. You send me a message on Facebook. We'll hook up on Olivia if possible. And 7-3, uh, more on the way from KJ4YZI.